Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Danny Buttons, and I'm back today with a What I Got for Christmas Craft and Hobby Edition haul of sorts, I guess. For some reason, this year my family really embraced my hobbies, and I appreciated it a lot. And I have a bunch of crafty related things that I'm going to show you. I think this is fun to see the new stuff people get. And if you were following me back in the day, I think during one of my coloring chats, I talked about my wish list. So we'll see if I got anything I asked for. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get into it because there's surprisingly a good amount of stuff here. So first off, I got two new scrapbook albums. A coral and a pink. They're still in the wrapper because I'm not yet ready for them. I'm finishing up my current album, but I'm very excited to have these ready. So I got one from my sister-in-law and one from my aunt. And I always ask for albums for Christmas because that's something I'm going to need every year. I recently started getting the We Are Memory Keeper leather album. Color doesn't matter. I'm actually going to just try to go through a bunch of the colors. I usually just put the cheapest ones on my list because no need to spend extra for fancy colors, but I'm very excited to have those and I'm very excited to do some scrapbooking in January because it's been a while. I might go to my friend Joanna's house and do some. Okay, then I guess I'll show you this little stuff. My dad loves to pretend that he does not like my hobbies, I guess but he always gets me stuff for them. So first thing I got are these take note highlighters from Crayola. These are amazing. Crayola is super affordable and I highly recommend these. I'm gonna show you what they do. They're basically erasable. So, and they work very, 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 very well. All right, hold on, let me find the page in my journal that I tested them all. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. All right, yeah, okay. So there you go. What you do with these is you can draw whatever you want and then open the other side and erase it. And it completely, it completely erases it. So this is really nice if you're actually using it to study and need to change what you highlighted, of course. But it's also really cool for doing different artsy stuff. So I just tried them all out. The only thing I will say, I don't know if you have to let it dry farther, but I um, wrote the big word and then erased in the middle and then I tried to draw back over it and obviously it wouldn't, the same highlighter wouldn't work because the erasable stuff was still there. So I don't know if I could try later and it would work because now everything's dry. But yeah, so there's a few techniques and I'm definitely gonna be using these in my journaling this year and I actually did already for January. And I really, really love these. And again, I expect these were probably only like $5. So if you need something like this, go look. So again, Crayola, take note, erasable highlighters. There's possibly also a pastel pack, but I really like these bold colors. And it's really funny because I had these in my cart on Amazon and my dad didn't know that obviously. And he bought them anyway. So that was cool. Also from him in my stocking, was a six pack of Fiber Cast Faber 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 Castell pit pens, and that's really cool. Um, I do a lot of those French Disney color by numbers, and it looks like a lot of the French colorists use these. So I thought it was real cool to have some. And again, these are really nice. And I don't know how he knew that, but I've never had any of these, and they're fun. They're like a bit of a brush tip, but not too bad. And I'm excited to try these out. Then I got from my friend Joanna a new watercolor set. This is actually from the brand Prima Marketing. And there's like eight different sets of them. And I already had the classic set and she got the Pastel Dreams. But what's really cool about these, these are pan um, watercolors. And so I have my classics and I actually, well, first of all, this is what they look like. So they come in this little tin and it's real nice for travel if you want. And it comes with a bunch of places to mix and it comes with these little swatches right in there. So that was the classics and this is the pastels. Um, the original palette has enough space for almost all of a second palette. Let me snap those back in. So I put most of them in here. There are still three that are left in there but they're similar colored. I think I left one of the browns because I didn't need three browns. 
I left pool party because it's similar to icy blue and I want to say I left uh oh ah! that was a scrap of falling I don't remember but I left one other one but I still I love this a lot and I think this is the prettiest thing I just like to look at this and as you can tell I used the first set a whole bunch and now I have a new set I actually had been mixing colors a lot with the first set obviously you can tell and now the new set fills in some of those gaps so I don't have to mix as much but these are a lot of fun this is easy to carry around it has this strap so you can hold it while you're doing your art and I appreciate that Samuel in my stocking got me oh I have to sneeze uh oh <sighs> oh I'm sorry okay he got me these sticky tabs which was so exciting so he got me these princess ones I love and my favorite princess is Ariel my second favorite is probably Rapunzel and I think she was in the other pack there was a second set of these but my third is definitely Tiana so this is definitely the right choice I love these a lot there's 180 in there and then he got me these corgi ones which are super cute he's a boy and doesn't know how to take off prices but that wasn't the price anyway because he bought these on sale and I'm that's how I convinced him to make a purchase I don't know if anyone else does that but I was like Sam this website's having a sale I think it's a good time to buy stocking stuffers and he did so these are so cute and I love them and I may never use them because they're too cute but hopefully I do at least a little bit I might like laminate some and use them as bookmarks we'll see I'm crazy like that so there's those super super cute as for other little things, um, he also in my stocking got me new sharpeners. It is a two pack. I can take it out now. We still haven't really put all of our presents away. Um, these are the nope. these are the Tagal sharpeners. I really like these. I have a blue one, but it is starting to get dull. And I know that you can just use it. Like it also got really dirty, so now I'm going to use the blue one for. Um, lead pencils and probably use these for my color pencils but you can change the tip size there are five different tip sizes you could do which I love because I usually keep my prismas at a one or two and I know a lot of people love going to five but I don't so I like that you can pick what you want for what you need so a two pack of those and then um, a different craft but my friends Kate and Donald surprised me and sent me over some thread for my sewing machine, which is really awesome because um, last year, well, two years ago, Sam got me the sewing machine. I didn't use it for a whole year. I finally started using it in 2019, and I ended up just making hundreds of bobbins. Not hundreds. I probably made like six to ten bobbins and I ran out of all my thread <laughs> so now I can actually start sewing with my bobbins so I have some new thread so that was really nice and a sweet surprise because they just shipped it right to my house okay another small but cool thing these are called paint pucks and basically it was a three pack hopefully that noise wasn't annoying and it is a suction cup little silicone doohickey that you can suction to the bottom of your water cup and it makes it really easy to clean the brushes. So here is my water cup. It's a little bit dirty because it's for painting, so you know. I actually, it's from Pino's Palette, which is a um, like a wine and learn paint place. And I went there for my birthday a few years ago and they gave this to me as a gift and I used it as my paint cup because I thought it was funny and I don't drink, but um, this works really well. So far I've only used it with watercolors and I'm excited to try it with something more heavy duty, but it was really cool that it was a three pack and yeah, it just suctions right on there. This brand also has um, special cups like that it's permanently attached, but I really like my Pino's palette one, so I just got this three pack from my sister-in-law. She, I, I'd be surprised if she knew what it was when she bought it, but I'm very happy that she did. So these are paint pucks, these are on Amazon. I think these were probably around 10 bucks. And then the paint cup is like 20, if you don't have a paint cup. Highly recommend those. Okay, I'm moving around to get the stuff. This, I don't know really how to show you, but all right. It's, um, my aunt actually got me, I think it's an 18 pack of Apple Barrel paints. These are just plain acrylic paints that I've used in the past to paint like wood projects, 
Um, you can use them to paint posters and things like that, paint pumpkins. Um, I have started to use these in my coloring books too for backgrounds and things. Um, I, my current collection are up to 15 years old. So some of them do not really work anymore. I really needed a new set and this was the perfect time. There's 18 in here, like I said. I'm obviously not, there's no need to go through them all, but it's basically a nice rainbow of colors. And these, I mean, I've enjoyed these in the past. They're obviously not the highest quality, but they definitely get the job done for everything I need them for. Um, I don't know if you would necessarily want to use these on canvas, but hey, it, they're very efficiently priced. I'll put it that way. All right, we got one more non-coloring thing and then we're gonna get into books. So many planner stickers. My friend Anthony actually bought this for me and I really enjoy my planner and more than that, I really love my wall calendar. It's actually on the fridge, but it is a wall calendar. I guess that counts too as something hobby-like. Um, I put all when the garbage goes out, I put Sam's work schedule, I put when the dog needs medicine, I put any time we're gonna be out of the house basically on there and I love looking at it and I love using stickers. So this is so many planner stickers and it is a so many planner stickers. So I don't know if I'm gonna use all of them, but it's definitely gonna be fun to try. So this obviously, well not obviously, this also came from Amazon. So if you're looking, there's a variety of the types in there and a lot of them have whole pages. So like there's a whole page of appointments. So nail, hair, there's a whole page of canceled, a whole page of lunch, breakfast, dinner, work day offs, a whole bunch of stuff in there. Tons and tons and tons, over 2,600 stickers. So there is that. All right, now we're gonna get into coloring books. I just made a stack behind me. So if you hear me walking around, I apologize. Okay. So these two were actually not for Christmas. They were for my wedding anniversary, which I mentioned if you saw my What I Color video, but Samuel and I just celebrated our one year wedding anniversary and the one year anniversary like theme gift, if you go by that, is paper. So what better gift for me than coloring books? So Sam actually ordered me two Japanese coloring books from 70 East Books on Etsy. I've never ordered from her before and I had been wanting to and he I told him about her and then let him pick some so this is eerie I think it's called festivals around the world and I think it's volume two but it might be volume three I don't really know I'll have to look it up back on her posts but these ones are the ones that didn't go over well and never made it to the United States because if you can see the line work is very very light and the intention was for the colorist to make the lines darker. So yeah, that was one of the ones I did. Sneak peek of my other video if you didn't see it yet. But yeah, so besides her face, I messed up trying to make the lines darker. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal because again, a lot of the background stuff won't matter. It's just gonna be their faces that bother me. But. I really love Eerie and her work, so I'm happy to have this. And now, of course, I want the other volume. One of the other volumes is focused on like different holidays around the world, and it looks really awesome. So I'm gonna keep that on my wish list for future holidays. Okay, let's put those down. Hopefully it won't all slide on the floor, but I'm kind of worried. Let me, one second, one second. All right, that should be better. And the second book he got me is Bunny Girl. I have wanted this book for so long. I don't know if that's actually the title of it, but that's what it's called in her store. And I just think these are so cute. These bunnies are so adorable and I love them. I love them a lot. So this I'm afraid will be one of those books I never color in because it's too pretty. But how funny are these bunnies? So I'm going to try to get over my fear of coloring in books I like because why get these fancy books if I'm not going to use them? But it's so cute. And it's so funny that everything's in Japanese but then there will be words in English. So I don't know what that's about. But yes, it's so cute, so, so cute. I love it a lot. I'm really excited for that book. This one actually was not a Christmas present either. It's a present I brought myself. But I brought one for my friend for Christmas, so that counts a little, right? This is Hanalyn's newest coloring book. 
whimsy girls at work um she recently has been coming out with all of her books on amazon and then also on her own website in like an artist edition and i keep being tempted but then i just keep going with amazon because i don't want to be afraid of her books too so this one's unique because it's the first time she has two of each page but one will be detailed and then one will be like zoomed in and less detailed which is really awesome because i know personally very few books would I actually want to do doubles of the same picture. I just have too many books for that. So like here's the male lady and then here is a much simpler version. So this is nice. You can practice your colors on that or if this was too difficult you can just do that one and there's no shame in that because still the whole book is made for you. So I really like this one. She also did a lot of like different hairstyles in this one and poses and I really enjoyed that a lot. So there's that one next my sister-in-law got me this one too a million sloths i have this is my third a million book and she just says she really likes sloths so that's why she picked it but basically this is a lulu mayo series there's six out and they're just cute sloths doing cute stuff and i really like these are smaller and i like to bring these up with on like vacations with me because they're smaller so it's nice i'll bring like a pack of something and this guy and be good to go then from my friend joanna i got shades of Kauai, a cute coloring book i think there's three different volumes of this out at least but this one i had seen and i just like the idea of like getting some markers and just going for it with this one so it's a lot pretty much solely repeating patterns and it's just cute stuff everything's got little kawaii faces and little puppies and i'm just excited to like pick one color and just go crazy because it's nice to just not think when you color sometimes excuse me for the sniffle oh no Ugh. i hate when that happens okay then this was technically a birthday present but i got it from my friends for at my christmas party because i hadn't seen them but it is Prima Watercolor Decor Coloring Book Volume 4. I really wanted one of these. Um, this is coloring pages on watercolor paper. So you can use your watercolors. Honestly, is this the most exciting book? Not necessarily. Um, they're really meant to be pulled out and then hung, like framed. And I don't know if I'm good enough for that. It's a lot of quotes. I actually gave my friend Richard, two pages that had a lot of birds, because I'm not a huge fan of birds, but that leaves 22 for me yet to do, and I'm very excited to use watercolors directly. And this is actually the brand that made these watercolors, so I assume they will work very well together, and it will be nice, because I do just watercolor in a lot of my regular books, so I'm excited to see the difference in an actual watercolor paper. Okay, the next two are from my friend Anthony. He is great he i always whenever he comes over i make him flip through all my new books and he'll like will judge the pages or not judge but discuss the pages and he'll look at all the things i've colored and he's just he is very supportive i keep trying to make him make a video with me and we'll both color and chat but he's he's not in yet so i'm gonna keep trying but he got me color by number animal stencils which you also saw if you watched my what i colored in november and december video this is by sun life drawing um, half the pages are on white and half are on black. I have found I really enjoy the ones on black because you don't even have to worry about lines and you just kind of go. Um, the nice thing about their books is that the color palette is the same. So I just labeled a set of markers that was a duplicate set for me, just 1 to 22. I keep them in its own pouch and for this book and their mandala book I can use the same exact markers and it's already labeled and done which is real great because I don't really like switching around and what if I pick the wrong shade this time, blah, blah, blah. Those are the two pages I did. This is nice and relaxing. And this is also one I'll bring on vacation or at the Mandala one because it's real easy to just grab that set of 22, grab one of these and go. 
Then, speaking of color by number, he got me the Creative Haven Mandala's color by number. These are pretty intense. I didn't realize they would be so intense. But he knows I've recently been loving my Mandala books, and he knows I've been loving color by number. So this just seemed the perfect mix. But yeah, let's let's zoom in a little. Oh my goodness, can you see how small those are? Maybe because I zoom, it's small. These are small. <laughs> um, so yikes. There's some fun shapes in here, like slugs. I love that one. And then just obviously some nice intense ones. This one also has the same color palette throughout the whole book. So I'll have to figure out what colors to use. I don't think it's the same as my other book. Like I don't, there's more colors in this one. Obviously there's two extra, but it just seems a little bit different. So we'll see, might be a lot of overlap. It looks like it is a lot of overlap, just out of order. So obviously for this one, I'll just probably pick which colors I need for that particular pattern. For before I do it and then go from there instead of labeling labeling a whole other set but really excited to have that okay and then three from my Sam he got wild tessellations this was another one when I was really into patterns that I was like I don't have any specifically pattern books so I put this on my wish list and now he purchased it he probably like he's a big math guy so I can imagine like in school I don't know about anyone else but back in computer class, one game we were allowed to play was this tessellation game where you could like draw them and then the computer would tessellate them for you. And that was always like my favorite thing. And since we are the same age, I expect he did that too. So that might be why he picked that. I don't know. Uh, present wise, Sam and I always do, we try to do like 50% wish list and 50% not. Just so you know, because he, he got creative also, but. This was a wish list item, and so was this, Seasons by Hannah Carlson. This is now my second Hannah Carlson book. Um, to be honest, I didn't look through this one before I put it on my wish list, so hopefully I still like it, but I know my friend Brittany on Facebook and Instagram loves Hannah Carlson, and I figured Seasons meant it would have like holiday pictures. Her stuff, Hannah Carlson's, are very detailed and very like animal oriented so I probably just avoid bird pages like I like the bugs and she has a lot of gems that I need to learn to use so hopefully this was a good choice but I'm excited to give it a shot the hardcover books are always so nice and then my final coloring book might be my favorite which sounds crazy but it is spiroglyphics animals <laughs> I've wanted this book for a really long time and again if you saw my last video you already heard all about it but basically I kept seeing it in Barnes and Noble, but it would be like a dollar more than that on Amazon, so I would not get it, not get it, push it off. And then finally we went for my birthday and I was going to get it, and they didn't have it anymore. I was like, oh man. So I told Sam if this was on my wish list at Christmas and nobody bought it, he better buy it, and he did. So basically, this one is just lines, and it is an empty circle of lines, and you just fill it in and it turns into something. So that's what I did. There's a horse. I actually am in the process of doing this tiger. I don't think you can tell yet, but he's getting there. And then this was the first one I did and I actually messed up because I started from the inside and the outside and then I ended up doing the wrong lines on the inside. So his little eyeball is not where it's supposed to be, but you can still get the gist of it. So it's not too bad, but yes. All right, one last item that I saved for last. It is the big kahuna. It is, oh my gosh, the Karen Dosh 84 Neo Color 2 watercolor. Oh, it's going to be super glary and I don't know how to stop it. Let's put a notebook underneath the back of it so it's tilted. I can't believe he got these. I wanted them for a long time. He tricked me and said he didn't get them. I love them. They're basically crayon shaped. There's two layers. I'm not going to there. This is a very well constructed box. The layers are very heavy. Um, but each color has its own little hazard. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it, but has names on there in many languages. What's exciting about these? Let's see if I can. It has pull tabs. So if you start to get low, it specifically will just pull one layer of tab off instead of it looking really sloppy, which is nice. Um, but these are watercolor, so you color with them and then add water and it makes everything nice. And I'm so happy to have them. I can't believe it. This was a very fancy gift, let me tell you. Um, 
But yeah, I'm looking forward to looking up how other people use them. And I know a lot of people do backgrounds with them. I've been doing whole pages and I'm so happy. So that's that, that is the big boy. Um, I'm so appreciative of all the gifts I got. If you want to see other stuff I got, I'm thinking of doing a book version of this or maybe a regular stuff. Probably not regular stuff because now that it's like a week and a half later, I've started using regular stuff. But books, I can do books. Oh, let me also show you. This is what all the Neo Colors look like. I swatched them out. So they're nice. I like these two because I think either last year or two years ago, he got me the Derwent Ink Tents, and those are very, very bold colors, Ink Tents, but these are very soft colors, and it's just very nice, and I'm excited. And I can see why a lot of people use them on backgrounds. I think these colors are very popular for backgrounds in a lot of books. So, um, yes, that is that. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned, subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in this upcoming year. I hope to be making them more consistently than I did last year. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!